What up, what up, what up, YouTube? Uh, today I'm drawing a bear, or my, my dog, my bad, my dog. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get to it. So if you haven't visited my uh, Instagram page, check it out. Uh, it's filled with a bunch of uh, previous illustrations and sketches and pretty much artwork that I've done um, previously, uh, obviously before YouTube. So let's get started. Uh, I'm just blocking in the dog um, with like simple shapes uh, and then on to uh, loose fluid shapes and on to detail. Um, but you might notice, you might realize, hmm, it's a little different. The the setup that you got is a little different. That's because I am shooting on a webcam uh, Logitech 920. So you might notice the dip in quality. But no worries. Uh, I've upgraded since then. So uh, I'm trying to make sure that everything, like I mean everything, is great for you all um like i'm i'm trying to get the lighting on par with my skill i'm trying to get my skill on par with the video and i'm trying to get the video on par with everything pretty much so it's going to be in one package you know suitable for you guys to view so um right now focusing on the drawing uh i've kind of blocked in like maybe 90 80 percent of the face uh i still haven't gotten um the eyes kind of blocked in so uh kind of worried about that but not really um just details and honestly uh it's funny because i don't do faces like normal uh like yeah normal uh what i mean by you know doing faces like normal like drawing faces like normal so like other people might say oh like block it in like circles for the eyes and the square for the, the head and the, um, the triangle for the nose and a line for the mouth and everything. So the way that I do um, faces and, you know, whether it be for animals, for people, for pretty much everything other than uh, illustrations and landscapes and everything um everything is connected to other parts of the face in my case um everything like say for instance with the eyes or with the nose um that little that little detail in the eye is connected to the nose and if you don't get that little detail in the nose properly or in the eyes properly, it kind of throws everything off in my case. I'm trying to get everything lined up, synced up, uh, what have you, uh, before I can move on to the coloring phase. Now, some things that I draw, like the the eyes you might see that it's kind of different um, on different planes so that's why I erased it and like kind of drew it back into place so s small things like that you gotta make sure that everything is lined up um, before you get into uh, whatever you're trying to do as far as like watercolor acrylic what have you so i'm just blocking everything in uh to the right uh obviously is my sketch um 
I do that because I wanted to know and wanted to uh, just check uh, if my my subject matter can fit on the paper um, because I do draw things like kind of bigger than I do in my sketch and when I uh, like say for instance with the face with the eyes I do like a little bit of detail and then uh, that detail kind of shifts everything over which makes the head bigger or smaller I think I'm the only one who draws like that but I don't know leave a comment in the comment section below like what do you draw like uh, if you draw with um, the head and the, all the the normal the the natural like firm uh, placements like oh I'm going to draw the head the, the eyes the ears like just like that just like my sketch and when I move on to the final I'm going to do that just copy and paste copy and paste I'm like okay I can't do that so like I understand that my sketches are kind of going to be different from my finals so I'm blocking in with color um, the blues um, which represents like the shadows and the midtones and the highlights which is yellow and you guessed it uh, the, the oranges and the reds and the pinks will be my midtones and I just noticed that I didn't use the micron pen as early as I thought which is fine uh, I just like to use the dry medium as early as I can when I get the, the sketch down and the final down um, because it's going to be easier and simpler uh, using dry medium with dry mediums before you switch to wet medium and uh, I didn't use it uh, later on in the video I'm going to use it but I didn't um, which is like I said perfectly fine um, I just kind of cringe when I see myself using wet mediums before I use another dry medium. So I'm using a blow dryer. Um, so I kind of, I'm going to talk about a blow dryer. Um, it's great if you're using it with like watercolor, uh, some watercolors, um, acrylics and like, I don't know about oils, but I'm just going to talk from experience um, with this type of paper because I didn't use um, Arches paper for this. Um, I actually use Strathmore paper um, and maybe that's the, the thing. I use Strathmore paper um, and I use the blow dryer. I mean it's it's good, but it doesn't give me that quality that I'm looking for. I don't know. It does something to the paper. It does something to the watercolor that I didn't like. But now moving on to the in-depth um, watercolor. Um, I'm usually blocking in the detail with like a, a dark brown, a dark um, pink, but in this case I'm using a purple uh, and um, a, a bunch of blues to block in that middle tone using blues and pinks. Um, and then moving on to the in-depth detail uh, with color. Um, working on the eyes, the ears, the nose, um, essentially getting everything blocked in uh, using color, using the mid-tone. So it's interesting 
um, working on animals because most animals have fur and you have to figure out okay like what's the mid-tone gonna be um nine times out of ten it's gonna be like blue and uh yellow um obviously yellow for the highlights and blue for the, the shadows because i feel like it's blues and yellows for almost anything you're doing for portraits uh if it's not blues and yellows it's gonna be pinks and oranges uh for me i'm just gonna speak for me it's gonna be blues pinks uh yellows and oranges um for the shadows and the lights the highlights so kind of jumping off topic i'm going to do animals but i'm going to just post um animals that i do on instagram um and not on youtube uh if you want you guys want uh i'm i'll i'll, I'll do it but um next month i'm going to start on people so jumping back to the piece that i'm doing i am now doing uh darker colors which means uh final uh color um obviously the dog my dog is black and white but i don't wanna i don't use black and white uh i kind of veer off or shy away from using black um to start off um with anything um because it nine times out of ten like deadens the piece um if you're if you're wanting to to do that if you're wanting to use like actual black um you can do it obviously but for me um it kind of deadens the piece um because it's so much so stark of a, a color when well, i even a color because black is not a color um and i'm just gonna stop right there um but it kind of deadens the piece because it is a stark difference it's a stark like from white to black it's it's a contrast it's a, a very strong contrast so if you're starting from if you're starting on white paper uh and you automatically go to black it's like wow like it's it's a stark difference uh if you're starting from like gray paper and you go to black um it's not so much of a, a jump but um you I, I i can't i can't do that i mean this uh style of drawing style of painting uh is it's a surreal a surrealist uh style of art um i can do realistic paintings but i choose not to uh it's like copy and paste like you see the reference uh and you understand the reference and then you draw the same thing so i, I choose not to do like hyper realism realism um if i'm going to do any kind of art um and that that's me that's just me um i i really enjoy uh doing surrealism so let me tell you about what i'm going to do uh in the future i'm gonna stick to uh surrealism and realism not so much hyper realism and not so much abstract because i can't can't stand abstract uh i do uh things in abstract but i can't 
do a painting like do the whole painting abstract like, i can't do it like no and hyper realism i mean it's like i said it's copy and paste so uh not so much so i i understand hyper realism i love hyper realism um but i want to see my my work my paint strokes uh my brush strokes and everything so jumping right back into it i've just I'm, I'm just jumping back and forth you know like from talking about my piece and just veering anyway anyway jumping right back into it uh as you can see uh it's more it's looking more more like my dog my dog is a, a malamute um so he kind of looks like a wolf and i painted a wolf uh, with watercolor bam right there but getting back into the dog um I am almost done with it. Um, I am now using black, uh, even though I said black kind of deadens the piece. Uh, it also brings a lot of life to the piece. It depends on where and how you use it. But essentially, I'm kind of done with the the piece. Um, now I'm just doing. A little bit of details um, like the the nose the the tongue um, and the ears um, I'm going to do the same thing as I always did with the, the ink dripping down and everything but essentially I'm done um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about next week and the week the weeks coming um i'm next week i'm going to do another animal and then i'm going to do people draw people um like i said in my video earlier um i am going to i'm, I'm kind of i think i'm gonna do uh people a little bit different so stay tuned for that so if you like this video uh drop a like smash that like actually smash it like you're breaking your keyboard not really okay uh and follow me and uh subscribe yeah uh until the next time